we've been able to, you know, really work with patients. And typically we do therapeutic fasting in order to reverse type 2 diabetes. And to us, therapeutic fasting is more of an alternate daily approach or a three time a week pr approach where you would do a full day of fasting. Um, so that typically ranges from 24 to 42 hours of fasting done you three times a week. So a 24 hour fast. You fast, say, from dinner tonight to dinner tomorrow. So, you know, I am eating tomorrow, but I'm just fasting breakfast and lunch, but I'll have dinner. Uh, and then a 36-hour fast would be just fasting straight through dinner and then breaking my fast the following morning. So today I would eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Tomorrow I'd fast. And then the following day I'd have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So it's just one whole clean day plus a sleep of not fasting or of not eating, but fasting. And then a lot of people just don't like eating breakfast, uh, especially diabetics whose blood sugar levels are already elevated in the morning due to the dawn mm -hmm. phenomenon. They'd rather burn it off than add more fuel to the fire. So they'll end up not breaking their fast until lunchtime. And, you know, we, we think about type 2 diabetes, it's a chronic, or it's a serious condition. It's not, it doesn't need to be a chronic progressive condition, but it's a serious condition. So fasting is not a diet. Um, you know, it's not, it's not like the latest pair of shoes that are on uh, trend for the season. It is a therapeutic approach to treating diabetes. It's the alternative to what people are, are using to treat their diabetes. So just like someone who um, has cancer would show up to their treatments for chemotherapy or radiation, we expect our, our participants to show up for their fasting days like they're showing up for their therapeutic treatments. And so these individuals, typically, it, you know, we're quite intensive for about six months, so then we're able to scale back, but they'll do alternate daily fasting or three times a week, they show up for their diabetes treatment, which is a fasting day. Um, and, you know, the great thing with fasting is that they can do it anywhere. So if they can still travel, you know, you're not tied to being home and going to a facility and having to do it. You don't have to go to a special center to do it. You can do it from anywhere. It doesn't cost you anything. You feel better after rather than feeling worse after. So there's so much, so many more positive benefits of the fasting therapy compared to other therapies. Uh, and you can have the flexibility. You could fast Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday or you know Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, like you can really fit it into your lifestyle. So it doesn't need to impact your lifestyle, but you still have to treat it as a therapeutic approach. It's just not a diet or a lifestyle that you do periodically. You need to treat it as a therapy and you need to do so for about six months. And if you do that, you know, you can really eradicate years worth of disease. Wow. Sounds really amazing. Uh yeah, you kind of uh, answered my next two questions too, <laughs> which, but yeah, I mean, that sounds, sounds really great. Um, I was going to ask about you earlier, you mentioned like the alternate day fasting and now you talked about, um, kind of as a weekly schedule because it's similar, you know, if you did it literally every other day, then of course it would end up being different on different weeks, but instead you could just do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or something else that kind of fits into your schedule. But, uh, as you pointed out at the end, to be consistent so that you get the therapeutic benefit, especially if you have years of disease, as you said, um, somebody who has type 2 diabetes or, you know, many, many, many people in the United States that don't even know it, but they're on their way to having diabetes. And I say the United States, I mean, lots of other places too, but that's where I live and where you now live, I guess. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, quite interesting to hear about what your experiences have been like. And I think it should be really encouraging, especially for anyone with diabetes or high blood sugar who is listening to this. 